guys welcome back to another video today we're leaving Bangkok on a train to head out of the city for just like a day trip we're going to check out temples and ancient ruins of a town or city called Ayutthaya it was the old capital city of Thailand and some of the ruins date back to 1351 which is older than I can even fathom <laughs> so I'm really excited to see that it once was the biggest city in the world um, in like the 1300s, 1400s, with over a million people living here. So we're gonna go check that out, show you guys around, try to get some really cool B-roll. I also still don't have my lens back from the Sony Repair Center, so we have to use this camera and this lens today, and I'm trying to get the autofocus to work, because I want to use my new a7 III for all the B-roll and stuff, so I have to shoot all the talking and vlog stuff on this camera. So bear with me if it's gonna be in and out of focus today. First things first, we gotta get some food before we die of starvation. Oh God, on the train they served us food, but it looked like little mini Caesar dog and cat foods. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It was but really bad. We were mackerel, scared. spicy mackerel was what was in these little dishes. So we both just ate the rice. You guys know I'm not a big fan of showing like footage of us traveling and transporting from one place to another. I think it's pretty boring. So we are here now, we just arrived. What's the name of this? The station. We're literally just eating at the restaurant at the train station. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> a, nice, it's a nice little place. I'm getting the margarita pizza. You can't go wrong with pizza. So we just finished eating and we are on our way to go to this boat that's gonna take us across the river to get to the location that we need to get to. Uh, where's the first spot we're going? It's Ayutthaya Historical Park, but there's ruins and temples all around that area. So all we have to do is literally cross this tiny little thing. Oh, you Thank have enough? You. Thank you. Great. Our boat is here. This guy knows what he's doing. He doesn't even need a helper. He just pulls right up. We've made it to the next stop. Now we got to walk like 15, 20 minutes down this road to get to the first destination. Let me tell you what the first destination is. What is the first destination, Stacia? What is Stacia? the first destination? Wat Mahatat, or Thot, or Tot, I don't know. We can't pronounce anything in time. This is the entrance of it right here. Wow, look at that big temple or whatever that thing is over there. That's gonna be awesome. This place is just Insane, what the hell? These photos that we're gonna take are just gonna be so epic. I'll probably take photos and everything will be out of focus anyway. Yeah, Stacia's gonna take some out of focus photos. <laughs> my eyes are off, my eyes are not. It's not her eyes. So it's so weird, all these little bricks that I'm, that I'm standing on right now, a lot of them have like puppy or dog footprints in them. Look at, there's one, there's one. Here's a couple. And they're, they're all over here. Maybe they had like worker dogs <laughs> carrying bricks. Ancient puppies. Ancient worker puppies. We need to get up there. We're climbing up this bad boy right now hurt to get to the top. I know I almost slipped once because I was looking up and I'm climbing upstairs. What's really hard is that it's so humid here that the lenses are fogging up. My glasses are fogging up. Everything that we're trying to shoot, I feel like there's just a big glaze of fog going over everything. So we just made it up to the top here of this big monument. It's crazy. Look at that, there's a bat right up here. There's a bunch of them. I need to go down here, check this out. Whoa, these steps are so tiny. I feel like Indiana Jones right now, climbing down into the ruins. And this is as far as it goes. Check this out. Uh, whoa. This is freaking nuts. This is all the old painting and stuff. Whew. OK, 
Okay, going back down and then up. This right here was where we were upstairs before where the bats were. The second set of the ruins called Maya Wasmahatat. <laughs> That's where we were supposed to go first, but we couldn't really find the entrance, so we skipped this one. But so this one is just more wide open. There's not a not a lot that you can climb up into. But there's the famous uh, stone Buddha over here. Famous stone Buddha. Let's go check it out. So right here, it's so weird. It looks like this is like a big graveyard of these stones that have broken. And they look like they were statues at some point. So this Buddha image behind me, it was originally part of a sandstone Buddha sculpture. And the head fell off and over time the roots of the tree grew around the head of the Buddha. So it, now it just looks like a Buddha popping out of the roots of a tree. It's really neat. So legend has it about two meters from this very spot, there were two brothers who were fighting to be the next successor, to be the next king. Uh, and they fought to the death and the brother that won built all these Buddha statues in honor of his brother who he had killed for the throne. And right here, this is the famous Buddha statue. It's the most photographed spot in all of this area. Are there any air conditioned ruins? <laughs> I don't know if this is very holy of me, but I think I'm gonna crush at least one to two beers right now yeah, before it, the next time. It is so hot. I can't even explain how hot it is. This is probably the hottest and most humid I've ever been. My shirt is completely soaked. My backpack strap is like dripping. I could probably wring it out with sweat. So if you do come here, bring like a second shirt that you can change yeah. into after. Otherwise you're gonna be hating life when you leave here. Wow, this camera is heavy. My arm's shaking. So good. Thank you. If you come here, you gotta come to this place called Mango House. They have the best mango smoothies, coconut ice cream, pretty much anything you can think of ice cold and refreshing after walking around this place getting hot and sweaty. This is the place to be. The owners are so sweet. Greeted with a smile and everything, so come check it out. Yeah, and they even turned the AC on just for us, so that was awesome. So we just hired a tuk-tuk driver. I just can't walk anymore. We're getting old and it's hot. <laughs> We're getting old? Speak for yourself. <laughs> she, hasn't even, she hasn't even hit 30 yet. <laughs> she's saying she's old. All right, so we've made it to the final destination. I'm not sure what this one is called. All the temples are scattered around this whole area. It's pretty crazy. You gotta drive a far distance to get to a lot of them, uh, but they're just surreal. It's just such a, an amazing experience to see this. So this is the last temple we're visiting. It's so peaceful. It's just me, Ryan, and these 
chirping birds. These loud ass birds. These loud These, freaking birds. They're just cackling like crazy. <laughs> but we're the only people here, which is really nice. This is a nice end to the day. These are the culprits. What the heck is that? And this is definitely the most immersive out of all the temples so far. I guess it's not the most immersive <laughs> temple because we totally just got kicked out of the area by security. Yeah, we weren't supposed to be in that, that spot. But in our defense, there was not a fence on the first in. part to get in. So when we got to the end, there was a fence and the security was standing right yeah. there. And he was just like... <laughs> so that is about it for today. We are hot and sweaty, uh, but it was worth it. This yeah, was really so amazing, so beautiful. Every one that you go to is a little bit different than the next, mm -hmm. so it's cool to see some new things. But the architecture generally is the same for all of these old structures. To get into each one of these locations is uh, 50 baht per person, which is how much? Um, like a little bit under two dollars, but if you want to visit six different ones, you can buy a six temple pass for 220 baht. If you are in Bangkok, come on out this way. Uh, it's not that expensive, it's not that far, and you'll really enjoy yourself. It is very beautiful and amazing to see. Another thing I would suggest is renting a motorbike or a tuk-tuk for the day. We tried to walk and it was just too hot and too spread out. Yeah. Um, so we ended up getting a tuk-tuk at the end of the day, which we should have gotten one in the beginning of the day. So that's about it guys. We're calling it quits for this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. No drone. I don't see that no drone sign. <laughs>